Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Felice. In this video we are going to talk about how to evaluate algebraic expressions. So in past videos we talked about algebraic expressions and variables, um, but in this video we are going to take that one step further. When we say evaluate each expression, we mean solve that expression for the given value of the variable. Let's take a look at example one. My expression is 6x. Now we know that that means 6 times x, but now I want to evaluate it when x equals 4. So I'm going to take this 4 and substitute it in for the x. So instead of 6 times x, we're going to do 6 times 4, which we know is 24. So when we evaluate, we are given the value of the variable and we can actually solve this expression. Number two, x minus 12 when x equals 18.6. So I'm going to take that 18.6 and substitute it in where the x is. Now we know that to subtract decimals, we have to line up the decimal points. So I'm actually going to set it up over here on the right hand side, 18.6 minus 12.0 and we get 6, six, six. there we go, 6.6. 6. So that is our solution, that is our answer. Number three, x over five, we know that means x divided by five, when x equals 70. So I'm gonna take that 70 and substitute it in for the variable and now I am going to do 70 divided by 5. And we know that 70 divided by 5 is 14. If you don't know that, that's okay. You can set up your long division on the right hand side and solve it this way. Number four says 2x, I'll zoom in, 2x plus 3y. Now there's two variables in this expression. That's okay. X is going to equal five and Y is going to equal four. So this is two times X. So we're gonna be doing two times five because we're using five for X and then plus three times four. Now of course we need to multiply before we can add. We always follow order of operations. Two times five is 10. 3 times 4 is 12, 10 plus 12 is 22. So this is how we evaluate expressions using a given variable. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and box all the answers we got so far so that they're easy to see. All right, so I'm going to scroll down to the last four example problems. Oop. Pause this video and give these a try on your own. When you're ready to check your answer, click play so we can see how you did. All right, hopefully you had a chance to try these. Let's go over them together. Three times X divided by two times Y when X equals eight and Y equals two. So we're gonna do three times eight divided by 2 times 2. This equals 3 times 8 is 24. I'm going to multiply first. Divided by 2. I mean, 2 times 2 is 4. So 24 divided by 4. And that equals 6. Number 6, 5x squared plus 7 when x equals 3. So this is 5 times x squared. And my x, we're using 3, so 3 squared plus 7. Now it's important to remember that 3 squared means 3 times 3. What is 3 times 3? It is 9. We solve our exponent first because we follow the order of operations. So this is going to be 5 times 9 plus 7. 
We know that 5 times 9 is 45. And then we do 45 plus 7 to get 52. Number 7 is x plus 8 all divided by x minus 2 when x equals 4. So here we go. I'm going to plug, I'm going to take this 4 and substitute it in for the variable x. So we're going to have 4 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 2. Now I'm going to start evaluating this fraction part first. So this is going to equal 4 plus 8 is 12. So this is going to be 12 divided by 4 minus 2. Well, we know that 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this is really 3 minus 2. So our solution is 1. And then finally, we have 10y minus 2 when y equals 1 fourth. So 10 times y means we're going to be doing 10 times 1 fourth and then subtracting 2. Now remember to multiply fractions we go straight across multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. I'm going to write 10 as 10 over 1 and now when I multiply these, I'm going to get 10 times 1 is 10 in the numerator. 1 times 4 would be 4 in the denominator. 10 fourths minus 2. 10 fourths, that can be simplified. I'm going to simplify that to make it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to simplify this down to 5 over 2 minus 2. So to um, subtract these fractions, again, um, I know with my operations that I need to give them a common denominator. 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. So to give this a common denominator, I'm going to multiply the 2 over 1 by 2. So now I have 5 over 2 minus 4 over 2. which equals 5 minus 4 is 1 over 2, 1 half. And that is my final solution. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped.